right. Next, you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right. Where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Hey. Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Oyster Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads oh. going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Whoa. <laughs> hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> I hear I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. No. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. What? what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your, uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking <laughs> coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning oh, course these days. Christ. And who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. <laughs> okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Tires, the heck? Did he not say to shoot the tires? Am I bugging? Ain't no way. Hey, you ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Leave gas in that thing. There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. Hoist your weapon. Okay. 
I told you what you gotta do. What else you wanna know? Look, I need one Walter oh, Coop. What do you want me to do? Write it down for you? And don't go bringing the cops here. Okay. Well, is he going to tell me the cards that I need? Or maybe that's just up to me. Just steal a card, bring it, and make sure they're all different? All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this no a way. test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Oh my god, I have to do it again. And I wish I could get armor. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? What? Oh, Actually, I have to shit. fight this dude. Oh. Can I just run? I'm stuck in the fight. I can't do anything. Oh, yes, I can. Trigger the cutscene. Can I skip it? Yeah, what if I just broke into it? What if I just... Ooh, they kill you, they kill you. They're gonna kill my... Oh, snap. Oh, snap, it's snowing. I can't, I can't drive, it's snowing. Oh, wow, wow. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow, they that was a lot of people. The Robin. Oh, wow. I can't believe I just got away with that. <laughs> he said, that ain't right. If I heard those lyrics correctly. <laughs> Back in business. Alright. Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. Not just their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Did the lowlife get the money for this? <laughs> probably stole it himself. Wow. It's nice, though. Or maybe I say he give works. You for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, no way. you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. Eh, I get it. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Honestly, Joe, so am I. Man, he should drive me sometimes, you know? Thank you. Gotta get Vito another jacket. Now that you're working, man, Vito, you know? Gotta get a little bit more comfortable with yourself. Can't work and not, you know, enjoy. Are we on the third floor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some food in the refrigerator. Um. You hungry, Vito? I got two bathrooms. Nice. Um. Yeah, I'll eat some food because my health is super low. Got some beer, cola. Sandwich sounds good. A sandwich does sound good. Shoot, you know what? I'm about to make me a sandwich. And I'm full on health. Um, crash on the couch, get some sleep. This is the couch that I sleep on, right? Oh, this is the... He got me sleeping in the kitchen. Wow. I was trying to sleep on the couch in the living room, but I guess, no, we gotta be in separate rooms. Home sweet home. Enemy of the state, Joe's apartment.
Alright, so I'm pretty sure that saved my game. Answer the phone. Where's the phone? Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. <laughs> Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Nice. Okay, go to the Southport docks and see Mr. Papaladro. Let me put on my outfit. And did the game save? Bathroom. Where is? I guess Joe went out. All right. So now we have two jobs, but I guess um. What's his name is more of like a side job collecting those cars. Papaladro probably would have a bit more uh, more pay, <laughs> more bang for your buck, if you will. All right, figured I will cut ahead from all of that driving. It is three days later, I was about to do an intro, but never mind. Dude, super close up. His pores, oh my god. Oh, out the door, it's windy. Mm. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, you all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Dude, you were eating the whole time you were talking to me. <laughs> what the heck is wrong uh, with that? Follow me. Uh, well, I barely remember the story, but I don't know. I got a little vibe there between those two guys when they were talking about Vito's dad. So, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Also, I have an avocado mask on, so I have to take that off in like five minutes. Let me not forget. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. D if something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Uh... Dude, that's like twenty boxes for ten dollars. Oh my god, I have to keep reminding myself. <laughs> this is so many years ago. $10 was like probably $50. I don't know. Probably more than that. $10 is probably close to $100. you all know what I mean. Like the value of it. Only grown folks will understand. I don't know who watches my videos, but grown folks will definitely understand what oh, I mean yeah, by the value a of a dollar, okay? Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Seriously. It's for ten dollars. Alright, okay, okay, okay. I will try to stop talking about the money. Goodness gracious. I mean, personally, I don't mind a job like this. I like busy work. I don't mind like you know like cleaning jobs Jeez, all this for 10 lousy Just, bucks <laughs> seriously you know, me. I had to keep my hands busy see my first thought was put some headphones on but uh this is like what 1940 they didn't have earbuds and and all that electronic stuff back then <laughs> 
Actually, you never know. They probably did in the military. You know, everything the they give us. Stannis. The military us already had it. Already hated. Vito, you're talking at the same time I'm talking. Jeez, I only did four? How many is there? Oh, goodness. They're gonna make me... Hopefully they let me skip ahead. There's no way they're gonna let me do this for like... This is gonna take five minutes. The door is open, leave when you have had enough. So... I, pretty much I can just give up? Can I drop it? Actually have to put it back. I wonder if you get it. You probably get an achievement for s doing this, but in all honesty, I don't want to do that because I think this game is pretty pretty linear, so it doesn't really matter. Um, do, do I just leave? Wait, what about my ten bucks? Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. <laughs> when I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't mm. show your face around here again. Hey, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come <laughs> with me. What was he supposed to walk in and say, hey, I know Joe, give me a job. Dude, my mom told me to come here. And he barely told him that. He didn't say my mom sent me. He said, I'm looking for so-and-so. My father used to work for him. You know, man business. You don't walk into a man's office and say my mommy sent me. What no offense, Vito. <laughs> well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Want a load crates if he works with Joe. Mm. You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk they... about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't <laughs> want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, nah, go ahead. <laughs> References. Where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Oh, he ready to kill? For a lie? Jeez. You know, I'm not, but I'm just saying, but if I was... He might not be home. Trust me, he's not. I just came from there. That wouldn't be good. Well, they didn't have cell phones back then, so, uh... What, just because Hi, he's not Joe, home? Hey, oh. this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? <laughs> Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, yeah. Steve? Right, boss. Because Collect Steve... at least on 50 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it to Sierra, meeting new people. 
Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Uh, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. <laughs> Why do I get the gist that Steve was, like, breaking arms and legs? And Derek's like, they need to work, you idiot. You can't freaking break their arms. They need to carry my crates. <laughs> okay, so we got this guy here. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah, I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. J this is all for a haircut? Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. I'm sorry. No one's gonna pay on time. I'm, let me hey, not say that. If Derek they don't have to, to the they won't. The hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Oh. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Uh oh. Push him around. Yeah. Ooh, Vito. All right. I forgot to play for a little bit. I got it. 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 Oh, I knocked him out fast. Damn, dude. If your jaw was that weak, He's you should not buddy. have tried to fight me. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. <laughs> He's like, I didn't know. I don't get into fights very often. <laughs> well, that's good. You, you know, you should hey, never Bob, really get into a fight. It's Derek not needs good. you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh oh. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? He doesn't ah, even have no hair. Can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? He could just fire it. I mean... Oh. I was ready to dodge. I was ready. <laughs> I pressed the button, man! Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I'm here. I'm pressing the button. No, because... Once he hits you, it's like he's gonna try to do it again. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Alright. If he hits and he misses, that's your chance to throw a hard one. Okay? Alright. There we go, right there. Perfect. I'm dying. Anybody else want some of this? Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? I would have loved to see his face when he said that. Hey, the cash of Derek. Okay. Everybody probably like threw the money at him as if he was a stripper. Like, no, we do not have a problem. Giving you the money, sir. Here you go. Do a little dance. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve the damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Mm. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. <laughs> Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. Steve is so the guy's sick been of a real his... fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Now say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, back to I business. almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Okie dokie. He who pays the barber. Drive to Freddy's, <laughs> Freddy's in Little Italy. Let's see how far that drive is. I figured uh, cutting out the length of the drive is probably best because it's just like super far. Like, oh my god, they're gonna be going all over the place. So, okay, recap here. Turn the radio off. So, my sister and mom owes money to some like loan shark, $2,000, right? So, I can't tell how much 
I have now. I think Derek said he was gonna pay me like 50, but he ended up giving me 100. Um, the last time I checked, I think I had like three something. So yeah, pretty close to about 500 at this point. I'm not really sure how to pull up the map. Or not the map, the money, my money. Okay, avocado mask off. All right, Joe, Bo, we wet. Is he upstairs? I guess so. Pool table, man, I haven't played pool in a while. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shit all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. <laughs> hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, you, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Oh, Too God. much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria and Yellow. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job <laughs> pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece sure. with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Got mm. Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. All right, this sounds like uh, this is going to be a mission, and then I'm going to bed because it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, didn't really expect to be playing okay, this late, but I was in the mood, so I figured let me just get with it. Especially since I haven't played in three days. This should be posted on Monday. How far you got me driving, man? Let me see. Oh, not that far. I said kick the door. <laughs> Why would I kick the door in? These doors look very realistic to some like old Yeah, if can not I help you? Very yeah, well taken well. care of places. You know he said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Nice. I was just about to say, when is the game going to save? All right, so let me remember to put on my speedometer so I don't have any issues with the popo. Let me go and get her. Okay, let's go. And take it what? easy behind the wheel, all right? What the, what? I've seen the way you kids drive these days. When did she get in the car? All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night. No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. Mm -hmm. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Got it, got it. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. All right, girly. Tell your sister, get well soon, feel better. And, uh, see 
what I can do here. <laughs> Man, I really can't. I really can't drive my car through there. That's a little bit upsetting. Don't give me a ticket. See that cop car back there? Hit <laughs> that cop car. Why do I say it like that? Sometimes I just have like weird accents for no reason. magician's flashback when Quentin climbs over the gate so he can get the paper and then he ends up at Brinkville's if you know what show I'm talking about leave a like press L3 to crouch okay. got it got it so I'm walking like probably just a little bit quieter oh through the window All right, let's see how how good I do here. Stay hidden there, guards around. First of all, how do I take cover again? It's circle, right? No, it's not. All right, it's X. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right. I'm scared. Where would they be? Get the key from the director's office. It's upstairs. Where are they coming from though? Like I'm not sure map wise where he is, you know? Oh, he's upstairs. They're upstairs. Okay, I wonder if I can take him out. Yikes. You got any plans for the weekend? Yeah. You wanna relax and watch me some television? Well, you bought a television? <laughs> Things cost as much as a car. How the hell are you afford it? Mary's uncle Lou oh, passed shoot. away a few months back, left us some cash. You bought yourself a television with it. Okay, this is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Okay, got it. Take the key from the desk. Thank All right, you. here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. All right, I got the key. Okay, well, now that I know that there is a safe point, I am going to take a break. I have to go to sleep. It is 11.17 at night, but I will be back either before I go to work in the morning or after. All right. Thank you very much. This television is just a fad. We'll see about that, son. Yeah, so what does Mary think of Up in there, man. It's in Love Gaming World. Hope everyone's doing good. It is the following day. I went to sleep. I woke up. My child's in school and I have a little bit of time before I have to go off and make my own money. So let's see if I can do this. I will take your gun out. Why did they load my gun up with one bullet? I don't know. This is the 
Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands square up. while moving in order to move immediately. around. immediately. We will open fire. Can I actually surrender, though? <laughs> All right, they, I see a cop coming. Oh shit! As soon as I got up out my seat. I'm scared because they killed me over here last time. My question is, how many cops will actually come by here before they give up? Because that's one thing I actually don't remember about the game. Is, uh... Oh shoot. Oh shoot. It's how, uh... Wow! Oh, he almost killed me, he almost killed me, he almost killed me. I'm not dying here, I'm not dying here. Having the Last of Us Part 2 flashbacks with Abby. <laughs> she was not trying to die where she was. And you know, who would want to? These cops are so dumb. What else is new? <laughs> Come on, guy. I actually think I might be good. Can I pick up some of this ammo? Drag the body for what? Dude, I'm out of here. Can I go back the way I came? Is it safe to go back the way I came? Put your weapon away. Actually, don't put your weapon away. Oh, it's, oh my god. Can I just go back real quick? My reflection in the mirror just scared me so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Alright. Take the weapon back out so I don't trust not to. Can I run? I can't even run. There has to be a run button. Put the gun away, V. Oh, not. That actually wasn't too bad. Sometimes you just need a bit of a break. I must have tried that last night like three or four times and um, you know I had all intention of going to bed at 10 but I think I was up to like almost 11. There's a bunch of cop cars over there so I'm a little nervous I don't know if there are actual cops in there. Oh snap look at that he didn't even know what I did that cop just drove right by me. Dude, I just killed a bunch of your comrades. You didn't even know it. Oh my gosh. I am really digging the music in this game. It, it's like a breath of fresh air. Uh, what was his name again? Henry. Things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh. Let's see what we got here. How was I supposed to do that without killing anybody, though? Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, <laughs> what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. You don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. <laughs> wow. We didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Exactly. Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Okay. Let's get to it. I mean, yeah, stuff happens. You have to learn to maneuver, Mr. Vito Scaletta. So, sell the stamps at the gas station before midnight. Uh, better get so my waypoints in order, huh? Well, let's go get this one. This one's pretty close. You know, 
I've been in the grocery business for over 35 years now, and soon I'll be handing over the reins to my sons, Perry Jr. and Gunther. The Shoon family wants you to know that even now when times are lean, we strive to maintain the best selection of groceries for you and your family. So for all your grocery needs, come to Shoon and Sons Grocers, Empire Bay's favorite groceries for over 35 years. Hey, uh, oh. you're in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Nice. Next. All right, so there's a... I'm going to try to go in a straight line. Ooh. I can probably get to these guys. But I'm wondering if I should do this one and then this one and that one and I'll that'll at least be three yeah let's do that just hope I don't get in trouble for this don't worry about it just keep your mouth shut stop talking I need to drive buy gas do I actually have to buy gas in this game hey uh interested in buying some gas stamps sure just keep this between you and me alright no problem just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. That's the same guy from the last gas station. It's like uh, Gumball. Have anyone seen that show Gumball where you have the same guy? Uh, did I not put the waypoint on? Yeah, you have the same guy working at like every possible store. <laughs> he owns every business. Ah, Chinatown. Okay, I think this is my first time being here in the game. actually get a, did a bit of a good deed the other day. I helped a old China woman up the stairs at the subway. She had a heavy bag and you know I saw that she was trying to rush but she, I was just like you know what take your time. I'm a fast walker so don't mind me. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I got some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah yeah sure I'm interested. And um yeah she gave me some like like a biscuit of some sort. All right, here you go. From Walk Chinatown. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. And it was now delicious. She said it was called a po. Never had one. I don't even think I've heard of it before, other than a uh, kung fu panda po. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really good. And um, you never know what you're gonna get out of good deeds. And that day, I was super hungry. I worked for hours. I haven't eaten anything. And if y'all know me. I do a lot of walking for my job because I'm a dog walker. So, you know, you gotta eat. You gotta keep the calories up. So uh, you have energy to actually walk those doggies, man. And uh, very grateful to get that pole. It was delicious. All right, we're almost halfway out of time and I think I just got free stamps delivered. Slow down a little bit, though, a little bit. I don't want to blow myself up either at these gas stations, so I have to be careful. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. That's an arcade, huh? Man, I haven't been to an arcade in a while. Yikes! Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Okay, so might as well come over here. Sounds good to me. Now, look at you see the moon up there? Who has seen the moon lately? I kid you not, I haven't seen the moon in about a week. And we are way far past the uh, new moon phase. So we should be we should be having a moon and we don't. It's not good. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Good thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got right. some cash. I should head back to Joe's. Nice, perfect. All right, let's go back home. Where is home? Maybe they'll pull it, pull it up on a on a map. 
Yep, there it goes. All right, trophy earn mailman. All right, where is the fastest way home? They have a sub. Look at the subway. <laughs> ah. He ate that in one bite. That is such a man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Saving. Thank you. Chapter 4. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law is a thing and it's good to pay attention to it. Little Italy. February 5th. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Standing out the window drinking a beer with your boxers on. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. <laughs> Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Okay. Meet Joe at Freddy's. Piece of oil. Oh, the price of oil. Alright, let's get back out there. Park right in front of the door. That's how I roll. I know that's the lady who was flirting with me hey, like several days ago. <laughs> she gets been? around. Playing around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? <laughs> what can I get you, sir? Coffee. Coffee. I can dig well, it, Vito. I need that too. Shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happened. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry. I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? We'll see in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? Does he think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. Okay. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight in jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is That's pick dumb. the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated? Yeah, because it is, Joe! Change light Look, don't worry, I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough, let's go. All right, we're gonna <laughs> rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. This dude had the nerve to say, like, why am I so complicated? Um, <laughs> the last job? Anytime Joe has some slick crap to say, I'm just gonna be like, the last job, Joe, remember? Oh, wait, you hey, weren't so with me. With what, you mean with Eric? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? he give you a job? Tuh. Yeah. If you can call it that. I worked some guys over, but it was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me, he's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. All right. I'm looking at all of these other cars and I'm like, yeah, I need that. And then also I have to keep in mind, this is my very first car. So of course it wasn't going to be the best. Okay. Wait. He said, wait till it gets dark. It's not very dark, is it? Well, I'm not doing this prematurely, right? Imagine I was like an instant fail. <laughs> you failed a mission. It's not dark now. Uh oh. What? Who else is deciding to do this job? And they do it dirty and what messy. What the hell is this? Dude, somebody Come has the on, same boys. idea. The cops will be here any minute. Move it. Brian Donna's. Brian fucking O'Neal? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? 
<laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here for Fuck you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Oh, my God. West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Yeah. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get the ass. fuck out of here. Ugh. Can we, I can I actually run and not jog though? All right, first of all, reload. Saving. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell are you Thank waiting you. for? Get him, lads. Ryan, what about the cops? Come on. Let's get, get out of the mall. I'm Follow trying. Joe. <laughs> I'm trying. Shit, cops. Joe, go. It said to follow him, so I'm following him, and he's slow. Watch my ass while I open this door. Get Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. One more, more, just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Feet up, come on. All right, I'm coming. Move, Joe. If you don't get your fat, jiggly Please, ass up the police. stairs. There's no way out. Get up there, Joe. That was disrespectful, my bad. <laughs> he got me a little nervous now. Wait, where are we going? Fuck! Damn, dude, you really went all the way up there, huh? Shit, another dead end! Cover Joe while he's opening the door. Okay. This, yeah, this is not a game where you can actually, like, peek out for too long. This way. It's our only shot. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> shoot. <clears throat> Got him. Where'd he go? Oh. Matthew, don't move your ass. I know you're not talking. I'm trying to live. Crazy. What are you doing? One slipping with that. We have no choice. I ain't going to the drink. Oh! <laughs> that other cop... <laughs> that other cop left. Oh, snap. No, he didn't. Vito, I mean, Joe. My God, dude. I don't know what happened last time. The other cops, I guess they Get ran back inside, and I probably should have ran after them. Fucking invitation? Over there, shoot! Shit, Jesus, be careful. Almost lost you there. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? <laughs> they must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Yeah. This way. This should take us to the street. It's definitely good to take the time to say support our troops. <laughs> um. Shit, cops! <laughs> Freeze, police! <laughs> oh, There's oh. no way out. Take my gun back. Ooh, ooh, ooh! They're not playing. I can't get a good shot on him though. There we go. I really can't. All right, let me get off here. Come down this way. He got a shotgun. Shoot! I'm about to die. No, I'm not. I'm living. I was about to say, how is he not dying? The enforcer. I need more ammo. Badly. Almost got it. Hold him on, just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Beat up, come on. No. 
He has a shotgun. I'm not going anywhere until he's down. You kidding me? All right, let's go. Wait, who? Where are they shooting from? I just saw a bullet come from a place it shouldn't have come from. Hey, fuck, Henry's never gonna believe this. This stupid bastards. Let's go. I mean, yeah, the smartest thing these cops should have done was flank us, like see which way we were going and head that way. They literally stayed in front the whole time. Look at him. Look at the Irish my Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill, crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. Yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. <laughs> you mean like last time? They ended up going into the military? All right. Um, shouldn't I change my clothes? I, but I can't. No, right? no, 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 no. Shit! The cops. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Smash the window, Vito! Get inside the gun, Vito! I'm gonna live. 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 Drive the car, Vito. Drive the car. And we live. Just drive. And we live. Just like that. It's so easy. I don't think I can actually go to the store and change my clothes now because the store is not going to sell to me. That's one thing I do remember about this game. Turn the music on. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. He freaking saw me. I can't even like get out the city fast enough. The vehicle is now wanted by the cops. Of course it is because I freaking stole it right in their face but here we go if i can get in here and buy a new outfit i can just walk on foot or i can steal another car that's not how you run this is not gta hi um hello how can i help you today? i want to buy i want to buy a suit how much are your suits do i have to speak to you if you like what you see let me know uh leather jacket Casual. I like that. Sixty-seven dollars. Casual wrinkle. You know what else I can do for you? No, that's all, ma'am. Thank you. Ooh, Vito. I can dig it. Enjoy your purchase, sir. I can dig it. All right. How far is home? I'm just gonna go to sleep and I want to see if that lifts my health up because then I'll let me know trophy or night shift if I have to eat because I've seen multiple eateries while out and about chapter 5 the bus sold Joe's apartment February 20th 1945 hey they're handsome uh hi there wow Joe ain't here right now he said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's I see too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. <laughs> Vito smile. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh, I think you're something. blushing. She likes him. She likes him. Um put on my suit so I look you know, I look set apart. Um I'm just gonna get some food because I have no idea what he's gonna have me do. And I have to head out. But I'm wondering if I go to the mission, will the game save? That way I, I don't have to like be home. So first of all, yeah, I don't even have to drive that far. So I'm gonna go in my car. I'm gonna go to Freddy's. And if the game saves, fine, it does. And next time I turn it on, I. Uh oh. Fuck <gasps> you! Stupid broad! Get the hell I... back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! 
Whoa! Isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. <laughs> one of them. That's Joe's girl, but she's about to be my girl smack soon. Up my car. I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You, you got an issue here? Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. For real. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? Hmm. What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's why does not it matter? For it, you will. One more word. Wow. And you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Wow. Now get the fuck out of here. That was the word. <laughs> that was the word. Okay, he was ready. Back up from the lady, though. Back up from the lady. Because if you hit her by accident, dude, it's going to be so much worse. Alright, alright. I'll let you get your punch. Alright, I'll let you get... Okay. Okay. I like those hard ones, huh? Hmm? Don't get up. Oh, he's a toughie, huh? Alright. You got one more. There you go. Gushing. Alright. Now, ma'am, I think I deserve to know what your name Thanks, is. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I I really gotta get going. Mm, <laughs> you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Jeez, girl, she is a flirty flirt flirt. A lesson in manners. She kind of got she got me a little riled up, girl. She was a little too close there, huh? What what y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> That is my guy's girl. Like, I can't be messing around with my friend's girl. But shoot, she make a man weak. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, be careful out there. She got my nerves a little rattled. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, hopefully I can get a save after that too. That'd be nice. You're in here early. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Vito. This is Luca Garino. He like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having, and hurry it up. <laughs> I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> And I want to congratulate you too on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. True. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. Huh. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah. I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much, how is, much that? is that? <laughs> Five grand a piece. What? That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? 
Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what you said the last time. <laughs> Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, 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 uh, come with me. We got some other business to discuss. Yeah, even your boss has right, a boss, dude. Job talking about wow. I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. <laughs> and is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. Hmm. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, <laughs> they fucked up. Joe. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up and then boom, we blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG42. Uh, where are we getting an MG42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. I gotta see you later. Good luck, pal. Yeah, let me finish my meal. It looked pretty good, too. All right, saved. Very good, very good. Okay, so now I can say my goodbyes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you watched all the way up until this point, please consider subscribing if you have not done so already because you clearly are a fan. If you enjoyed anything in this video, please leave a like and don't hesitate to leave a comment too. See you next time on Mamiya 2 or whatever you choose to play from my channel. Bye.